We're Danny and Joe, and we live aboard this 50 foot narrowboat. We're currently cruising the Kennet and Avon, leaving Bristol and heading to London. This week, we tackle the infamous 29 locks of Cane Hill Flight. I've been narrowboating before and doing 16 locks in a row, a more miserable way of spending an afternoon, I cannot Are think. Are you ready? Nervous. Fair way to go, yeah. That drone shot just cost me 382 quid. Also, this week's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, the world's leading recipe box delivery service. Right. Lock one out of a potential 29 today. The first seven have got um, essentially more ins in between in case we want to stop at any point. Then there's the flight of 16, the infamous flight of 16, where you can't really stop in between and we have to sort of decide after that seventh one whether we're going to commit and do the flight today. We're not sure. It's about two o'clock, probably a little bit late in the day, very hot. Oh. Till 1 p.m. Oh, you can't do it then. From April, 10 a.m. till 1 p.m. That's our plans. Gone then. Um, and one of the pads. He's down. Good morning from the base of Cane Hill Flight. Mm -hmm. Last night we had a wonderful night. We were invited to the Whistling Swan, which is a narrow boat, which is also a hotel, which has also got a massage room on it. And we both <laughs> had dream. a massage from Fiona. Fiona and Michael own the hotel and mm. they've got a lovely dog. Um, Ruby. Ruby. And <laughs> yeah, they're just the most amazing, humble Welcoming people. people yeah. yeah. and. I couldn't recommend enough. I think we're gonna perhaps go with on them on a bit when we're a bit further days. along yeah. and they're still on the K and Eggs. I think that's where they're, they're thinking they're gonna base themselves. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just explore with them. They're, they're such genuine people, they're so lovely. And yeah, we'll put their um, website in our description, description yeah. and you can check them out for yourself. Yeah, we wish them luck with their, with their new hotel Venture. boat. So they offer um, I don't know what you'd call it, but they will literally do everything on the boat I guess in like terms before, of moving it and yeah. doing all the locks and stuff. So if you want to go on a proper narrowboat holiday and not have to do all the hard work yourself, yeah. then it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. What a dream. Because <laughs> no one wants to do 16 locks in a row. <laughs> I don't know how much they charge you to do the flight. <laughs> I don't know if you pay me enough to do this. Oh, so it's now 20 to 9, 20 to 10, sorry. Um, and we they open at 10 i think someone from crt comes out and lock unlocks them because they're locked overnight uh yeah. locked overnight are you ready Nervous. Yeah. this really does feel like the next step in our adventure has been the next thing we've been thinking about to get to london so ah. open. 
Open for business. to time it. What is the time now? Ten, three minutes past ten. Three minutes past ten. Three minutes past ten and we're in our first lock so we'll see how long this takes. We have now reached the part where we are meeting the boats from the top of the locks. Um, so CRT guy is just trying to figure out the best way to do it. Logistics. Obviously this happens every day so it can't be that difficult but we've been working quite well together and going in together it, like saves you bumping about and it's just easier um, but there's two boats coming down so I don't know what they do um, but if one if the other guys go to the other side they could get stuck because it's like just a big open area um, so see what they think I'm going to keep right away and then go in there to come out yeah you go out yeah like that yeah We're going to be doing it in just over two hours, which I think is rather good. Probably thanks to the guys on the other boat, they're very efficient. <laughs> they're heading up to Milton Keynes and they're trying to get as far as they can today. Um, so yeah, they're in a bit of a rush. That's a flight 16 gun. Whoa, our helpers. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Two hours? Two hours. Just thanks over. Thanks to our helpers. Yeah, I did say they were, like they're in a, well not in a rush, but I didn't touch a single lock, I don't think. Actually, no, I, moved, I might have opened one gate. We're going to stop for water now. Right. It's a bit close to the pump out for my liking, but oh, ooh, yeah, it's bouncy. Once the filling process is completed with the hose pipe, must be removed and physically detached the hose should be completely drained of water and stored correctly out of direction. I'm guessing there's a hose or something. Uh, we use our own. In no time should the hose pipe or any other connection type be left permanent connection due to the possible contamination and backflow risk. That's pretty gross that it's that close to the pump out though, isn't it? Oi, you don't get. Thanks, we need a weed.
happy. After all those locks, yep. I've got quite the appetite. So, hello fresh, this week's sponsored to the rescue. Woo! What's on the menu tonight then? I can't actually remember what we ordered. Can I open it? Of course you can. Also, if I forget, just seen Andrew. He was going to join us on the flight, but he's... Did he fracture? He's done something to his Achilles tendon anyway, playing cricket. Which so very painful. Mm, he really wanted to join us, but he's given us a bottle of wine. So happy days. Thank you very much, Andrew. Roasted ratatouille and pesto bulgur. That's, That's definitely your choice. That's my choice. Rump steak, slow roasted tomato butter sauce. And crispy sea bass and lime coriander rice. What would you fancy? I mean, the rump steak's screaming. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. My treat. You making it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. First things first. So if you don't know who HelloFresh are or what they do, they are the world's leading recipe box delivery service. We've been using HelloFresh since back in June. It's really taken the chore out of contemplating what on earth to cook week in, week out. Essentially, you pick a plan, you get 44 different weekly recipes to choose from, and it saved me from my weekly routine of sitting, staring into our larder. Larder sounds a bit posh. I really should start cooking before I get a hangry Danny on my case. HelloFresh actually cuts out the middleman so all the veggies arrive that much fresher and like for like versus the supermarket actually saves 25% on carbon emissions as well. That's partially down to the fact that everything's portion sized down to the gram so it reduces food waste. Portions start from £3.15p plus if you use a code in our description which is DannyJo60 you'll get 60% off your first box and 25% off the next two months. Thank you. Oh. <gasps> Joseph. I'll sort it out in a minute. The, oh. This needs to go in the wash anyway. <laughs> For goodness sake. Yeah, we've not really got a table to eat at, at the minute. We can sit at the thingy. Yeah, but that's a mess. Mm. I guess over there. This might be harder than it looks. Or I'd probably make it harder. I feel a bit bad. I've literally barely done anything all day apart from captain. Well done, buddy. Look how perfect you are! Hello. Oh! Hello. Oh. Hello. Willow! Hello! Oh. Oh. Willow! Oh. Oh. Thank you.
to. Time for the pub. This pub I've driven past probably 30 times, knowing that one day I'll finally have an excuse to go on it because we'll have done Cane Hill Flight and we have. Today's the day. It's not got the best reviews on Google, but you can't always judge a place by that. We will be the judge. We'll let you know how good it is. I base a lot of my bookings and decisions on Google for someone that doesn't ever review a place. <laughs> So, we'll see what they've got on. Is it a Wadworth pub? It is a Wadworth. We are in Devizes now, which is the home of... You're getting too excited. I'm now. getting too excited. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of beer too much. <laughs> we are in Devizes, which is the home of Wadworth Brewery. Now, unfortunately, they have suspended brewery tours. Otherwise, we would have gone on one of those. It's premier or main beer is 6X. Some of you might have seen that up and down the country. But Wadworth are a fairly large brewery for the local area, but in terms of mass scale brewing and stuff, they're relatively small, so it's still actually really good quality. I'm really selling that, am I? You really are. You sound like you should have your own channel on just beer or something. I'm going to have a 6X. Start, just start to ring. What was I like the other day? Oh, that was their Horizon Golden Ale. Yeah. That was nice. Ah. Black Horse, here we come. Good morning. We have got three little locks to do today uh -huh. to finish off the full 29, which will take us up to Devizes Wharf. So I'm going to explore a bit more. We've actually been sat here for a week whilst Danny's had some shifts so we have been out to the town already it's such a nice town such it's a, nice a beautiful town. town absolutely love it and I've actually been able to cycle to work which has been a joy because <laughs> everywhere I've ever worked has always been like a decent drive at least isn't it? a half, half an hour, hour drive at least so that's been very joyous but yeah we're gonna go and explore devices and take you with us and yeah then we're gonna be moving again aren't we yeah fairly soon because we've realized that basically we've got a month until we need to be in London and it's 90 miles which means we need to do a 10 mile cruise at least every three days. One every three days. It's a lot. Oh, look at his nose. What, oh, cut it? What have you done to you him? Fight him? Just broke brand new drone. That drone shot just cost me 382 quid. 
that's how much you've got to pay. So we it. will watch it again. But 320 is just on hold until I send that one back. So it's cost me 62 quid. So still, if you could enjoy it for a second time, everybody. Jeez. I don't know if you remember, but just after we painted the boat, a lovely guy who's got a barber shop on a boat gifted us a, what do you call it? Button fender. I've just tried yeah, to fit it now. There. Yeah. I think I, like, I think I cycled past him. Did it's you? Barber boat. Barber boat? Hmm. What, same guy? Well, I saw the boat. I can't remember. We didn't see a boat, did really. But yeah, he gave us this button fender a while ago and I've only just got around to fitting it. I'm just either a small piece of chain or an extra turnbuckle short. So I'm going to head to the, what's it called? Not blacksmiths. That's really old days. What's it called? Like hardware shop. Ironmongers. Traditional Ironmongers. Head there. And then we're also going to go to Wadworth Brewery Visit Centre because that's open until 8 on a Friday. Okay. Charity shops, you want a belt for your windlass? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That shop is amazing. It's got pretty much everything it's you could ever want. Well. <laughs> it's really sweet. Very helpful. Could do with that shop following us around everywhere we go. We wrapped the video up last night, or attempted to, after a few too many pints. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's usable, but thank you very much for watching. Thank you to our patrons, and we'll see you next week. Wow. What the heck? How does that... How? I think his bum just lights up. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, so Main so character, <laughs> Got any thoughts? Um... Okay, then. We could record smells. They smell so good. The We're most gonna... outstanding smelling Chinese restaurant in the UK <laughs> must be here. <laughs> After three, four points, oh, it's just wait, wait. too good to be true. That's us for this week. Thank you to our patrons, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> no.